Hello everyone, this is Ty Williams here and this is my LGBTQ K-pop idols psychic prediction on 2022 part 3. And this is going to be my last video on this. So, uh, and by the way, happy Valentine for people who in a wonderful relationship, in a wonderful marriage, and finding love, all the right places, finding true love. I feel that everyone should, everyone should be loved and be accepted and just experience love and finding your soulmate, finding the one, finding your twin flame and just be happy with your relationship. And Valentine is a very special day for love. And the reason why I decide to do this psychic prediction on K-pop idols, I feel like idols should find love of whoever they date. Love is love love wins and i want people to understand that love is not a crime and i feel that love needs to be nurtured love don't have to be toxic love don't have to be miserable if you find that special someone it will heal your heart it will change your your way of thinking, you know, and I want everyone to experience that. And lucky enough, there are other K-pop idols who are in love of who they love, a true love. And I want K-pop idols, don't be ashamed to be in a relationship and be in a marriage of someone you truly love love is a good thing so okay before i do this psychic prediction on k-pop idols who is part of the lgbt community so this psychic reading is entertainment purpose only and take this psychic reading as a grain of salt and i'm gonna say this too for anyone who listens to this video i'm not outing any k-pop idols i'm gonna put that out there i am not outing k-pop idols period don't tell me about can you do this idol? I think that he's gay. Can you do this idol? I think that she's a lesbian. I'm not going to do that. That is totally disrespectful. It really is. Because some of these idols are in a tough situation in South Korea. They don't have laws here in America where they cannot go out freely with someone they love and speaking of someone they love they cannot even date out publicly like come on now these k-pop idols are scared to reveal they're in a relationship because they know that the, their career is over there are there are there are horror stories and stories about idol confessing they in a relationship. These Korean news medias and these Korean fans was a brutal, brutal. If a K-pop female idol saying that she's in a relationship with a man back in those days 
they will crucify her with hate comments saying she's a a whore she's a slut uh she's unpurified she's dirty oh my goodness i i remember 2000 i think 2007 or 2008 and it was this particular female idol was dating some type of idol who was rumored to be dating they was attacking her left and right till she had to go to hiatus and then after that she broke up with that guy and i'm like dang like they couldn't go out like regular people and just be in a relationship that's how korea was back in the day but now everything changed because of is because of corona pandemic like the corona pandemic changed how we view the world now and the way we view the world now is not the same in the past we all becoming transparent we all becoming more understanding how we think how we act among people how we deal with people and I feel like in South Korea now, everyone is embracing who they really are. And that's a good thing, but also there is lots of battles here and there about being who they are, being like part of the LGBTQ community or not being perfect and people don't understand that being an idol you have to be squeaky clean you gotta be perfect you gotta be cookie cutter like you cannot smoke you couldn't drink you couldn't go to clubs you couldn't act like an adult or think like an adult uh, you couldn't have boyfriends and girlfriends you cannot have like a simple adult life but now these young k-pop idols doesn't care what people think no more and same thing as the young the youth koreans nowadays they don't care what people think they are more like i'm gonna do my thing i'm gonna mind my business I'm not trying to put my business out there. I know what I want. I know what I get. I just keep it very professional. That's it. Like you're going to be surprised. There are lots of South Koreans who are in the closet, but they are bracing it through friends who is just like them who think like them but they keep it very private and i feel like these young korean kids now they have a voice they have a voice to speak up their truth they have good parents that accept them of who they are even their parents doesn't care what people think and that's a good thing and i feel that this year i feel that k-pop idols was part of the lgbt community they does they do not feel pressured they are set their ways they stubborn um they don't want to hear toxicity they don't want to hear no negativity if you say something to them that they don't like and that you harass them annoy them they're gonna fight back or they just cut you off period like if you say something um 
disrespectful, right? And you said, oh, you shouldn't um, fish your nose or stupid stuff like that. The k Idol will be like, excuse you? Who are you talking to? You ain't talking to me, block. And people gonna see lots of K-pop idols are not dealing with the emotional abuse, the mental abuse, no more. Even um, there are certain K-pop idols that dealing with mental abuse and emotional abuse with hate comments because they look different, they act different, and but I feel they have more support team for the international fans. I think that's the reason why some of these new K-pop idols have so much hope because the international fans that that accept them for who they are. And also I see lots of K Bot fans that coming out as LGBTQ as well. And I'm gonna talk to the LGBTQ K Bot fans. You are not alone. You are not alone. It takes courage for you to just say who you are and embrace yourself. Because some people couldn't have the balls like you, period. And you'd be surprised how people envious of you. Not only to the K-pop fans, but K-pop idols was part of the LGBTQ community. You guys got balls. You got guys courage. But however, don't make people force you to come out of the closet. You come out of the closet in your own term. Don't make people force you to be in lavender marriages. That been done. Okay? And there are still lavender, mani- lavender marriages in the Western world, like in here in America. So it's still it's practice because there is a strong level of you cannot know that this celebrity is gay because of contract contract agreements. And there are lots of contract agreements where um certain celebrities have to be in lavender marriage or lavender relationship if they gay. And because of society still have this view on LGBTQ people. And I kinda like see it why celebrities sign these contracts because they make a lot of money doing that like to have a gay bear to hide their sexuality because of their career and money because i feel like people are just out for this we are very sexual beings that's the right word it's like we attracted to people who is sexy but at the same time we don't know that they are gay so if you understand about what i'm saying you will know um i feel that BTS is so powerful right now 
I mean, powerful. That group scares me. <laughs> BTS scares me because how powerful and very impactful they are and very influ influence they are. Like they are like the top idols in Korea. Top idols in Korea before G Dragon. This group will make a revolution for LGBTQ idols and the Korean youth to be more confident and comfortable in their own skin without getting judged, without getting criticized. And also, I feel like there are one or two members is very active in the government of trying to make a law for foreigners and people in the LGBTQ community. Um, that's a good thing because BTS, they are making a movement in Korea right now. Um, the only, the only group and the only people who got a problem of a K-pop idol sexuality is those religious ones, the ones that spew hate, the ones that are very weird, like they write gay fan fiction and they do lots of queer baiting, but when it comes to the realness of a cape idol being gay, they use religion to spew their hate. So I feel that K-pop idols need to be aware that there are people who is like them, but don't worry about it because long as they don't hurt you, you're, you're cool. But it's best for you to educate them that it's okay to be different. It's okay to embrace who you are. It's okay to be transparent. And you're going to be so surprised how South Korea changed with this whole COVID pandemic thing. Like, people see that South Korea COVID situation is just too much. Like, like over here in America, people dropping dead left and right. Crime rate is high. Uh, so much things going on. People losing their job. People losing loved ones. So it's hard to grasp that we as a people see that we have to work together, work together as human beings and stop spreading the hate. And like right here, I don't want the hate to be spread on YouTube or Twitter or Instagram. I want everyone to win. I want everyone to be happy. I just want to see happiness. I just want to see good people get what they deserve. I want to see positivity and we need positivity. We need, we need positivity. It's like these K-pop idols do so much for us, but at return, we do so much for them, but also we doesn't say what we say towards them. We are not supportive of who they are and who they date in. And I feel like this this year 
is going to change. Like if an idol want to come out and, and want to come out, he or she, support them. Support them the best way you can because I will. I will. I love to see idols to be more honest with themselves of who they are without being judged. But South Korea is still judgmental. But I do see the young generation are breaking the toxic cycle. I see lots of um, South Koreans doesn't want to do a lavender marriage. You know what that means. I do see them moving out of the country and go to a place where they feel free and accept of who they are. Um, I do see some idols want to retire from K-pop and just spend time somewhere out of Korea or getting a home out of Korea and just live a very inclusive and private life with their gay lover or with a gay partner without people knowing, you know, or even their parents know. And speaking of their parents, I do see lots of parents of LGBT idols and K-pop idols, um, um, friends, already know about they gay they they are gay but they protected of them like i see k-pop idols doesn't want to show who they really are because of the stigma in south korea but however they keep it more low-key and professional and they're just playing along with fans, like t like they saying things that fans want to hear. Like, oh, I like girls with this, or I like guys with that. But actuality, they're just doing a job to keep people entertained. You know what I mean? So, I feel like... Hmm. I feel like, okay, I feel like the LGBTQ K-pop idols are blocking homophobic people or people who doesn't respect them as queer or someone who support, who support the LGBT community. They just kind of like, okay. You don't support gay people or you don't support me. I'm just going to keep my distance. I'm going to say a few words and we not going to like talk like that. So I picked up that energy. Um, I feel like some of you going to sue people who is black mailing you who is shredding you about your same-sex relationship and gonna cause they're gonna cause media headlines that change everything in korea i see lots of idol or suing on hate comments and the um fourth information about them how there are this and that, but these K-pop idols and their company are suing people like crazy, who who send in hate comments, who is threatening them, who is blackmailed them because you could sue someone who blackmail you in Korea. That is what I see, but also I do see 
good changes. So, so some of you guys, even I do see some of your parents will support you. And so your parents like, okay, we know you're gay. We're not going to make you to get, get married or have children. If you love a guy or a girl, I support you, but don't come out. When you're good and ready or just don't come out. Just live um, whoever you want to be with. And that's what I'm getting from um, some K-pop parents and um, K-pop fans and also the youth, the Korean youth. Um, there's going to be a lot of K-pop, LGBTQ themes drama and music videos this year and next year like lots of open-minded on the lgbtq movement in south korea like reality tv shows uh, cartoons webtoons they're gonna be lots of um details with the lgbtq community this year um what do i see i feel that some of you k-pop idols don't spread your business to no one your secret to no one. That is what I see. You keep it to yourself. Um, you don't feel pressure by it, but only your close friends who are just like you, you are very open about it. That's what I'm getting, very open about it. Even if your parents knew You'll be open about it, but to majority, no. You're going to be very private about it till five years from now. Till some of you come out when you're good and ready. And I think that fans need to respect boundary. And I, and I also do see that you want boundary not only for your relationship, but to the fans and the people around you. Like they don't have to know your business. They don't have they don't have to know everything about you. Because a person know what you are doing constantly, they trying to get something on you. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. Like they trying to get something on you to blackmail you to control you to ruin your career but in the end of the day you're gonna be very rhetorious because you're gonna sue them and you're gonna gain a lot of lgbtq fans um that is what i'm seeing so this is this is ty williams good day and good Bye, y'all.